<laughs> the fact that you have to strain it. The <laughs> bonus pulpy? So you, you find you find bonus in the bonus mines. You find it's like ore. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. It's weird seeing, like, Martin Sheen be, like, younger, but still got that old face. He does perpetually look old. Got an old look about him. Yeah, it's like, his face kind of stayed pretty much the same, but, like, between this and the West Wing, his hair aged. I wonder what it would like to be just old face, young body. Everyone, I'm sorry to announce that I did a search on my, like, academic, like, periodical search thing for Space Camp, uh -huh. and I found an article about a correctional officer who went to Space Camp in order to inspire juvenile delinquents, quote-unquote. I mean, yeah. It's... It makes me sad. <laughs> oh dear. Apparently, space camp costs a thousand dollars. That's that's why. See? It's a it's a it's a red rider. Okay, I get I get it now. Yeah, I feel like space camp like represents something that it sounds cool. Like at the time, space kids ape shit for space, yeah. and then like it's fairly unattainable for. Geography and money reasons. <laughs> yeah, people. that's a thousand dollars, and you have to get to Huntsville, Alabama. God. So. Paul big... says, like, hey kids, once you get out of prison, there'll be a space station. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Really? All of you definite criminals. All of you <laughs> kids <laughs> who are. Who are Guaranteed. there's gonna be a space station and you're not gonna be on it. Doesn't Listen, that feel I know good? Your life is set in stone. You can't escape this. Anyways, we have successfully activated the scenic splendor of the cable car. I bet it can't take you to space camp. We I mean, is it take, taking us to space camp? It's taking us to space camp right now. We are going to space camp. Aren't you excited, Banjo? I was trying to, like, Ugh. set the expectation of what's gonna happen. Look, it changed! It changes into a space car! Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're up, they, are, they are in really in on their theming here at Witchy World. I'll give them that. They really they are. Got, they got magic. It's easier to do stuff like that. Why is, why is Banjo's muzzle hairless? I was just thinking about this. Oh. Stop thinking too hard about it. It's, I think it's he just shaved. like like I was originally I was originally thinking about how his snout's like a little bit too long for like a bear normally, and then I just started thinking about how he doesn't have any hair on it, and then I started thinking about how like neither does bottles and neither does tea. He has pale hair because like bears don't have bald spots on their chest, feet, and hands yeah yeah this is just this is, marking this is like what it's like how mickey mouse and goofy are also just have like flesh there and it i don't like it maybe it's like an aesthetic thing like he prefers to shave his face proves he's a human <laughs> being yeah banjo he got some picked up a, a magazine at the checkout line about how he should save his, shave his face and his chest, and then just like didn't consider all the rest of his. Head. <laughs> <laughs> just applied grooming tips for human men <laughs> to his bare body. Yeah. Oh, okay. For you, I'm gonna shave. There we go. Listen, you don't need to. I need to. I need to. The lighting in this game is so all or nothing. <laughs> well, it literally is. Be like, uh, most stuff, you know, like before, like on the N64 and of that generation, the lighting is, uh, 
what it does is it kind of just like shades the model kind of it it uh, uses but I don't know exactly but how they did it but a lot of it's it really is all or nothing it just kind of goes off the geometry of the model and applies a, a uniform amount of colored overlay remember that so box like, remember that floating box from glitter gulch mine mm -hmm. oh, there. in pog form I could have seen that coming. Here's our new friend! Oh. Where'd the box go? Jump on board to ride the exciting saucer of peril. Is Hell yes. I love peril. Hell yeah. I was yes. going to ask if you were going to ride it or talk to it, and I should have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sometimes you just gotta guess both. Crosshair appears, press Z to fire at the targets to score points. Blue targets are worth three, green two, and red one. Give you some special eggs. Score 500 points to win first prize, or 400 for second prize. Bleep. I like that it gets just a whole, a whole extra... Oh, I need to get used to the inverted controls. I like that there's a whole extra line of dialogue just for it to say bleep. This seems like hell. A little, yeah, it's a little bit of hell. Yeah. It should be in hell world then. <laughs> Especially. This is, this is what, this is what you do at space camp. Space camp sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I always actually really enjoyed the Saucer of Peril ride. It, like, the feeling of getting... A perfect arc of like all of those targets is actually re really satisfying. <laughs> I do wish that it wasn't uh, <laughs> inverted controls on the aiming though, but that's like you can't change that, so whatever. I wish Ooh! it didn't make me feel sick. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be feeling sick a lot starting from this level. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Oh god, this is so long. <laughs> this is only oh, like 160. This this is a tour through the entire through the entire park. <laughs> they should make this an AR or VR for like maximum amount of motion sickness. Yeah, absolutely, we should. Zara can stream it. <laughs> make it into a VR chat level. So another interesting thing, you'll notice like if you look at like the bits of the <laughs> Pro, they, you can kind of like clearly see the pixelation of the textures. But if you look at the gradients on his arm and his hands, those are all smooth, even you know at this modern high resolution. Mm -hmm. It's because those aren't using real textures. It's just like it's saying this corner of the polygon is this color, this corner is this color, and then it can just yeah smoothly go between them. I think I remember. Just we were, creates a gradient between those. We talked about that a little bit in the first LP. Talking about, if, like, the difference between textures and just, like, colors. I think that came up in bonuses. Yeah, we were talking about, like, how the... How the, um... There aren't any, like... There aren't any, like, model maps for Banjo, but there are for the for the washing machine. I think was what yeah, we were talking about. I, oh. I actually went and checked, and I found a, a, a model okay. with a... <laughs> of this, of the Banjo-Tooie Banjo model, and, like, the things that are actually textured are, like, his feet, the backpack, and his eyes. His feet right. are just for his toes, right? Yeah, his yeah. toes have textures. Oh, and I think, like, his belt loops. No, yeah, yeah, I remember that. <gasps> come on, come on, we can get 500. I believe in myself. I believe I can get 500. 500. There's another bl all blue here. Oh, we're so close, 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 we're so close. I don't want to do this again! Oh, fuck, I don't fuck! Want to do this again. Oh, no, no, we have to do it again! Oh, <laughs> that is <laughs> Truly, truly outrageous. <laughs> you can go truly, read more truly, about truly. Space Camp instead of looking at the screen. 
Nice shooting, you were the prize. Got a cheeto. Got a I shitty piece of paper. Once. I'm not gonna watch it again. <laughs> you can go ahead and read about Space Camp. I don't- none of you have to suffer. If you- if you feel like suffering along with me, please. Otherwise, let's talk about Space Camp some more. <laughs> Instead of this whole texture thing again. P.O., is that why Dreamcast, like, everything is really smooth? Is it because they aren't using normal textures? I figure, like, it's... If things are gonna be, like, you know, pretty uniform colors or simple gradients, it's just, you don't have... Like, if you're gonna have textures as images, you have to store that whole image. And, you know keep it in memory. This is just, like, numbers that you can kind of, probably a lot easier to keep hold of. It's I'm... actually, it's really cool, like, watching you get, le watching you learn about, like, modeling and learning things about modeling and then getting to hear you talk about things like modeling stuff. It's cool. I enjoy it's... Hearing you talk about 3D modeling stuff. Well, interest, it's interesting learning like all the different how game modeling differs from modeling for like visual effects or just for like creating art renders. Yeah, because because art and such like that visual art and visual effects you only need to do render that once and then you've got it yeah well, for, for visual okay i mean you need to render it on every frame well yeah effect. but okay, i think we have a little more than we had the first time at this point there it seems like you're getting more there's two spots where all of the targets are blue and those parts like go by really fast so you want you want to get the all blue Okay, so I'm reading the Beyond the Stars description. Eric Eric determined to become an astronaut himself one day befriends Paul Andrews, the 13th man on the moon. Paul is avoided by other astronauts nowadays because he was very rude and rebuffing when he returned from space. Damn Eric slowly ass. learns that Paul discovered something during his excursion on the moon that he keeps as a secret. What? I I need to know what this is, Wikipedia. You Did... can't just end the sentence, end the plot description there. Did he find the secret moon society? There's a dark space camp secret. <laughs> the terrible secret of space? What? The terrible secret of space camp? Oh no! I need to I, find a description of this movie. I have a title for this video now, and it's gonna be that! <laughs> this oh, movie no. has a 31% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, that like 420! <laughs> I love watching movies that are 30 on others. It's so good. I wanna watch this movie, I wanna learn the. Beat barging will protect you. Okay, we're so close. We're so close! Oh god, just need 30 more, 30 more, 30 more! Apparently, the dark, terrible secret is that it gave him leukemia. <laughs> he got leukemia from space. Is the secret that just space is cancer? <laughs> what? I don't I don't know if pushing will protect you from that. I is he mad at other astronauts because they don't have leukemia? <laughs> I push everybody away. Not because I'm mad about space, but because I have leukemia. But because my blood is cancer. I that, am dying. That's that's did nobody else get leukemia from space? Not only this man. Did Eight. Paul Andrews actually have leukemia? I, I should check that. Everybody else dodged a leukemia beam. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed that ride and enjoyed first-person egg shooting and 
flying around because airborne egg gaming is now a thing. Excellent. I think. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful to watch. Every time. Blah. Blah. <laughs> Just say so feeds over. <laughs> the, the dark secret is that Paul Andrews is not a real man who went to the moon. <sighs> the, the the even more terrible secret. I can't believe they made up a moon man. <laughs> like they explicitly the call, they explicitly call him the thirteenth person to visit the moon, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds about how many people have visited the moon. <laughs> that sounds like the right amount of people to visit the moon. How many people have the visited the moon? Made him stop e stopped existing. The moon yeah. caused him to cease being. Yeah. I never went to the moon. It's actually the, the big secret is he was. The I should have guessed. Tw guess how many people have been to the moon? Is it twelve? <laughs> it's twelve. Yeah. Maybe Which nobody will ever look it up. Maybe he's that's... the maybe he's the hero of the protagonist of that movie that's just called Moon, and that's what the big secret was. Hmm. Like the twist of that movie, and then the sequel is that movie that came out like thirty years prior. <laughs> also, the thing about going to the moon is that they do it in bunches of two. So yeah. thirteen because people. three people fit on the lunar lander and one stays with it. Mm, okay. Oh, no. All right, time so, to like, turn. The government thought nobody would figure it out. Like, it's a movie. I don't think the government made that movie. The government had nothing to do with this, you see. <laughs> I, you know, in in the in the movie government. The in the movie government. I don't think the government, the movie, thought too hard about the <laughs> fact that there was all, would have to be a fourteenth. What I'm thinking about it. The thirteenth and last planet. person to go to the moon. He, his other guy died. The moon ate him. The moon <laughs> he, ate him and <laughs> chewed him up. He, he well, got maybe maybe he moon. went to the moon with two other people who had already been there. Oh, there you go. Oh. And they were like, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, there's nothing bad on the moon. Definitely won't give you leukemia. I, like, I, I, like, in my head, I'm just saying, like, you know, hey, bud, you're not going to the moon, but you do have leukemia, so <laughs> we're, we're going to so, tell everybody you went to the moon. Like, what? <laughs> in, in real life, I assume it would play out, like, guy gets... Leukemia in space tries to hit up NASA to pay his medical bills, and they're like, "Nah, space didn't give you cancer." <laughs> it's there's so nothing in space. How did it give you cancer? There's so much in space. It's just depressing now. It's just depressing thinking about the moon and space camp now. Oh man, the cars immune to lava. Yeah, yeah cars immune to everything. All sure. Uh, not everything. Oh. Oh. The car is not immune to crushing hazards. The car or is falling off the world. The car is not immune to propaganda. Wait, like, cars can be crushed? I mean, yeah. That is true. That is the the most likely cause of cars being damaged in real life, I think. I might need to go move my car. <laughs> Did you just park in the crusher? I, I don't think I have to answer that question. <laughs> I think you do! Uh, nah. Hey, here, so enter the, do the Dodgem Dome. Dome Dome. My name's Dome Dodge. Oh, good time. We'll do the Dodgems in a second. we have the airborne egg aiming we can do the other ride in the crazy castle 
We should start using warp points. We should. I don't. The truck can't. I don't think. Ah, uh, it's too truck. It's too truck to use. I believe. Let me check right now. Actually, where is the? Oh no! Truck can. I don't know why I thought it could. Mysterious. Whatever. Truck can barely enter this place. Not a truck anymore. I wanted to get turbo teamed. Oh, now I'm just thinking of the turbo team gif. <laughs> now there's a bonus. Back to the crazy castle with us. <laughs> a freak. A freaky dude who was like, damn, cars? Love them. People? Not too into them. What if a person turned into a car? Be into that. Janice, what if you were a car? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> and then Janice quit. <laughs> Welcome to the balloon burst challenge. 60 seconds to score 50 points. I don't want to hear the rules. I know. Well, Ready. blue ones are worth three, green ones are worth two, red ones are worth one. Damn, really? That's oh. my guess. Oh, yes, God. you're correct. Oh. Get used I to see. this. I understand now. I un that thing you said earlier, I understand <laughs> it. <laughs> I imagine playing this in VR. I would, like, <laughs> I would want to pull the camera back. I want to see how we spawn around there. Uh, presumably just appearing. Right. But they, they're spawning in sort of a pattern. Balloons! 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 I'm so glad that my... I'm glad that my internet is bad enough, but this is mostly still images to me. <laughs> Good! <laughs> we did it! Oh, it's so unfair. You scored enough points to earn my balloon burst prize, is also the name of my light novel. You have really long light novel nips. Those are pretty standard. <laughs> yeah, I suggest editing all light level names down. There's a reason why, and I can't remember what. Uh, it is. it's it's because most light novels like are start as like internet forum stories, and the th and those are like the titles of the threads, and it's like a catchy title, just kind of describing the plot a little bit. And when they get published, they usually just go with the thread title. If you're gonna make your novel light, what you want to do is tell like a bunch of it in the title, so you don't have to write it inside the novel. Yeah. I see. I don't fall for your tricks anymore, Minjo. See, if they'd called this game Banjo Tooie, Bottles has been killed and Grunty is back. Uh, you know, we could really like slim down that opening cutscene. It's true. It's true. It's true. I can't, yeah, most I can't of the, believe Grunty returned and killed Bottles. <laughs> most of the media based on light novels tends to expedite the end, the opening, because it's just in the title. Yeah, more or less. Let's check out. Let's take a little break from all these rides and relax over at the fortune tellers. Owie. Madam Grunty. Mysterious Madam Grunty. Now choose your fate. Choose? You win a beating! Ow! Owie! Ow! Wait, is you take... Grunty just in there? Grunty's just in there and beats you up. What? <laughs> Let's just get her! What the fuck, Banjo? <laughs> I want to know the child who went in there with just enough health that that killed them. <laughs> Probably. Uh, you're talking to her. It was... 
an experience, I will say. <laughs> Let's do the dodgements. Welcome to the dodge and dome. Welcome to bonus game. One view up. Leave our twinklies alone. Oh, your helmet teeth. And... It's like 60 points of twinklies in 45 seconds. Whack the bear! They didn't even say the color work this time. Yep, but they continue to still be that. I expect just... this guy whacking us to be more of an issue. It's less that he hurts you and more that he's trying to slow you down so that you can't collect twinklies. And then this oh, these are, these are the things that were in Boggy's level. Yep! You saved them from the twinkly munchers. I guess when this is not one on one, it's gonna be a lot harder. Yeah, it gets harder each time. Oh boy. 69, nice. That voice clip is just short enough, is just long enough that it, it goes on forever. <laughs> Try the second challenge! Right. Second and first, gonna... same as the first. You're not gonna give louder, us a jiggy a for each worse. level? Nope. It's just like the kickball from from uh, Mayahem Temple. You gotta do three challenges to get the jiggy. Yeah, this game is worse than Spyro. <laughs> I like that your your car has like a stupid little grin on it, and the others look like sharks. Whack the bear! Oh no, good! Please no! Stop bumping me! Stop it! Stop it! What are the points we need from this game? I did not look. I think it's roughly the same. I'm just getting literally every twink twinkly I can. Just getting literally every twink you can. I want to know the glitter roughly. I thought you were going to say I want to name a character Twink. Paper Mario already exists. Yay! One less two. point. Challenge three. You'll never defeat the Challenge three of the Dodger Dome this Sunday. Whack the bear this Sunday. Be bear. Be bear. Be bear. You're in for a real ramen this time, pal. <laughs> Peter just looking like a dumbass. 40 points in 45 seconds. God, okay, let's go. <laughs> no! You just gotta get... You just gotta kite him. Yeah, it seems once you're free of them, it's mostly fine. Mostly. You, you just mostly. have to... You mostly. have to be traveling. Oh. And the fact that, like, they will delete the twinkles they fly with. Yeah. Means they but we're almost delete. there. We're almost there. We got him. This silly game can't beat us. Let's do a victory lap now. Getting so many. No, oh, stop bumping me, though. Go. Get him. We lost 17 points with the addition of a third one. Yeah. Oh, but you know what? In. It's fine. Just start slapping. We still get a jiggy for it. That's all that matters. Not to me. Rotsu wants more out of life than jiggies. What more is there to life than jiggies? <laughs> Jinjos? Jinjos also give you jiggies, though. Jinjos yeah, give you companionship. It's true. Jinjos are friends. Jinjos are friends, not food. I desperately need friends. Tell that to Mumbo. No. I do not want to eat. 
You don't want it? I thought, okay. I have fries for you, Magi. Magi, tra Magi transitioned since the last game. Congratulations. Bye. Yeah, one more to find. Found him already, but there's an issue with that. We need a power up, don't we? Possibly. Might need to get some kings. We're gonna look real fast at our totals here. Got oh no, we're missing five notes. We're missing five notes. Somewhere. Somewhere in this world is five notes that we didn't get. But we are otherwise more or less done. All that's left is the big show. Mm. Oh. Owie. Where you going, kid? Duck in there. Maybe there are five notes inside the big show. Perhaps there are five notes inside the big show. I bet he could sing. I think I know where they might be. We can take a quick look. Otherwise, maybe I'll just grab them off screen. Because <laughs> I don't want to just try and go through the entire place looking for them. Fine tooth comes. Uh, I don't. I can't do this. There's one more thing we need to do before we open up the... Before we go to the big top, though. And I'm going to go take a look at where it is right now. Uh... Oh, okay. I was foolish and did not search the area well enough. The train switch is right there in the train station. That makes sense. Where the trains are at. Not every train switch is in the train station, but this one is. The train switch is in the train station, is that right? I always try to do things relatively efficiently, but sometimes it doesn't work out perfectly. That's just the name of the game. There we go. It's a it's a let's play, not let's speed run. We're 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 playing uh, the game. Oh yeah, how could you have missed this fucking black on dark green and black? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That does not look like something you should be able to interact with. We don't demand perfection from our from our Let's Plays, merely enjoyment. And I'm enjoying spending time with you all. If we had looked up here, we would have seen the enemies that exist only to stymie you from climbing, so... I don't know, I, I don't know how much I'd notice those little hills without... The, they do seem kind of like not... not like elements that would contain a thing. Let's bring the train on in. Chuffy is loading ore in Glitter Gulch Mine. We got a dinosaur to help. You should pick up some honeycombs that are. Yeah. Slurp up them it, it seems like death is less painful in this game. It it is. It's it's way easier to deal with. You don't lose anything for it, you just maybe have to backtrack a little bit. So, every game has a train station. Every world? Every Most worlds have a train station. Maya Hem Temple doesn't. But, most worlds have a train station and they work as a way to basically fast travel between those worlds. Lots of shortcuts between worlds in this game. The world this seemed... game didn't forget about the dinosaur. Yeah. Hey. The world seemed bigger in general, so that's a probably a good thing. It is pretty much a, a good thing to be able to get places fast, yeah. 
Hey, little guy. One-way ticket to Terry Land, please. Can't get there yet, but... But you are welcome to join us until then. Every time I walk in here, Groggy makes another noise and I hate it. Let's get out of here. Time to go. Time for the show! We have the tickets. We've waited long enough. It's time to see what this circus has for us. Well, it's the big show. Mm. Big game. <laughs> see you, guy. Yep, this is it. Okay. Okay, so I must have done all that. I just didn't remember any of it. I mean, the thing I remember you, the most about this game. You might have gone. You can go here at any time. You just need to. But you need the tickets to go inside, right? Yes. So I. You, you just I, need the transformation for that. Yeah. yeah. I guess I at least got the tickets. You can also destroy those things with grenade eggs. Anyways, here's our here's a guy. Oh, that's a bad noise. <laughs> See how big and strong Mr. Pat is! I don't think he was bigger than Klungo. But, strange, wobbly, inflatable thing, Mr. Patch. We gotta deal with this dude. Really stretching what you can do. <laughs> He's got good music, though. So, so Mr. Patch just kind of walks around. This is a shadow of a Colossus fight. I'm disappointed there's no shaking and He's... noise when he stomps. I definitely oh. remember there being Ooh. one. Maybe maybe I was just inserting it with my own memory at the time. So well, play this part. I, could, I didn't understand what to do. You want to shoot the patches on him with grenade eggs to make him explode. Yes. As, a, as a small one, I was, I was like, how do you defeat this invincible beast? As a tiny wordsy. I, um, he doesn't I, really attack you so much as he just walks around. Yeah, I don't like where that plug is. Uh, don't worry about it. You're worrying about it. The, That's my the, one. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, baby. About the boss. Not a great it, angle. Oh. If you die to it, he has like dialogue for losing and coming back to it. Oh, we gotta do this again. Yep. Found a weak spot. Ah! But bottles? No, no, it is not. They're disguised as bottles, but they are boxing gloves. If you stand too long in one place, oh no! You cannot aim your grenade eggs from the ground, and so you must take to the sky. I bet you still can if you try hard enough. Maybe if you're like really good. Anyways, it's time to do this again! Yay! This is the part I, I, uh, do, I got You gotta him. fly away from him. And then turn around. And just start hitting places where you hope that will hit the patches. Yep. And you just kind of pray. I got the hardest one to get while I was still on the ground. So the rest of them shouldn't be that much of a big deal. See? Already got one. Is he actually getting smaller? He is. Yeah. You can also get them with the beak bomb if you if your aim is good. That is the one I I, I went for. Which is the one I got the most damage out of. As you can see in the in the bottom right corner, he's got ten more patches to get. You just have to. The problem is he's so wobbly. 
that it makes it a little- there you the go. The problem is that you're so wobbly. We're both very wobbly. Yeah, he's... That one got him. Oh. I have always been a big fan of Mr. Patch's music, though. It's probably one of my favorite tracks in the game. Yeah. Please stop. Please stop. He coughs beach balls at you if you're if you are far away enough. I guess if you're too close though, you just kind of bounce off him. Damage that, most of the damage that I'm taking right now is from just doing grenade aids to- oh, never mind. Maybe if you're right next to him, you can be busted instead. <laughs> so we don't spend an eternity trapped here. Maybe a smart idea. I still have a safe I think you went in with pretty low health to begin with. So. Yeah. Just damage race and you can do it. Yeah. Just a damage race against the I don't even know what to call him. He's an inflatable like float. He's like a pool toy. I just thought of him as like a parade float. Yep. I like how Kazooie kind of walks away. <laughs> Kazooie just kind of walks away when he starts inflating again. All right, gotta get him. Oh, good. There's health over on the over in those areas. That's good to remember. Good. Got. Go. There we go. Have to wish. The boxy glove thing happens like half health. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Not. They. They want the fight to be about in being in the air. Yeah. I guess maybe not half. Maybe like. Making mistakes here right now. Many mistakes. Oh dear, I need to go and get some more. <laughs> some more grenade eggs. Honeycomb. And a honeycomb. The cereal or literal honeycombs? The cereal. Honeycomb cereal's not bad. I've never had an actual honeycomb itself, though. That I don't sounds like a think because it's not food. I mean, no, you can you can just take a bite out of those things. I've seen people do it. Yeah, well, you can't eat. You it's just wax. <laughs> you just have to chew the wax. You can't uh, swallow it. God, I remember. My cousin's kid got a like beeswax with honey for Christmas, and she made me have some. So I can attest that they do sell them, and you can't eat them. That's huh. cool. I, I I saw a TikTok a while back of somebody like taking out a honeycomb to eat, but you can see like right as they're putting it in the, their mouth, there's a bee on it, and it just uh, oh, it hurt no. me to watch. You can eat the whole honeycomb, including the honey and the waxy cells. Huh. I. Yeah. There was a time in, like, I want to say 8th grade, where uh, all of my meals for a couple of weeks were just like before. Just what? 
I so I got I I I've I've been making money forever. Um, and my like my first couple jobs have been like in fifth grade and in, in four. If I if I didn't get hired, I made my own. Work. And uh, weren't you like cheating a rich kid for money? Damn, I got like three hits in one there. Nice. Or four hits. Holy shit. But I was charging people for pencils and stuff for it so they could take their tests. But um. Jesus Christ, Wordsy. I listen. If you don't have the school materials, yeah, I come get to me. <laughs> Just the guy who has everything. Right, that's why I carried a duffel bag full of school supplies. Import, more importantly, though, um, I had like a couple hundred dollars. Uh, so I was like, I'm just gonna buy all the honeycomb boxes on the shelf at the first because I live by it and I can walk there. So I bought a ton of honeycomb boxes and then uh, I think a couple gallons of milk. And I would eat two to three bowls uh, per, per meal, and then so it would come up to like nine bowls a day or something. Wow. I love coming home. <laughs> I can tell! I I think I think in my head, because it's a, like, it helps you grow, I, I was attributing like my growing athleticism to honeycomb. I see. I don't know that's not true. And now in hindsight you're shaking your fist. But damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I should have eaten one less let it go. <laughs> you gotta just land normally, that's I was not trying to land that time. This is the part where it goes down to the wire, cause he's got one more! He's got one more! I'm just gonna start shooting. It's just shooting wildly. Escape! Escape! You have, you have two honeycombs, so you yeah. can spend one on the suicide hit. You're right, I you can. Also, you can also heal up. There's another honeycomb on the ground. Yeah, I need so. to... I need to go down... But slowly... Ah! Ah! Run, 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 run. Find a honeycomb. There it is. Good. It's, it's all right, guys. Yeah, we're good. We're yeah. good. Oh no. no, we're not good. Oh. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Yeah, I wish those respond. That'd be awesome. It would be good if that happened. And you know how the game has respawning health in the boss fights? Is it Spyro the Dragon? It is Spyro the Dragon. You know what game I just beat Mr. Patch in? Banjo Tooie. Hello. Oh. <laughs> this is a children's game, sir. I guess it's just because I didn't have to play it for so long. I never really played a game. I have never played one either. They haven't been good since the PlayStation 1, so. Alright. I thought I feel like people were pretty positive on the HD re-releases. Oh but... yeah, the the spare. I don't like the art style of the remaster, but it's still like the gameplay of the originals. So. I dig the art style of the remaster, so I do need to play it at some point. I I hear that the uh, the crash remasters like are apparently like really really hard. Like people are they are pretty the much physics are harder than the original. Uh, the way it works. The, it plays exactly the same as the original, except for one small detail, which is that like the, the like hitboxes for the for the platforms are a little bit rounder than the ori uh, than the original game. So lots of like edges look like you can land on them, but can't quite. But it is otherwise like an almost perfect remake. That's cool. Uh, and we are. Ah. <laughs> That is all we can do in Witchy World for now. Sorry, Mrs. Boggy, we cannot get your kids yet. We'll we'll be we'll be back. Your children are dead. Goodbye. Got a grip of them. We don't have any. We don't food. have any food. Did we sold the fries? No, we, we fed the fries, the fries to uh Moggy. To, to Moggy. The trans kid. Oh. 